Currently in the ring, we have those in contention for our, our supreme showmanship. Leading off our parade, we have our beginner showman, grades three and four. First was Duke Schlender, and second was Caitlin Friesen. In our first year showman group, first went to Savannah Fairbank, and second went to McCain Conley. In our junior showmanship contest, our division uh, first went to Malcolm Spoke and second to Vivian Lichty. In our intermediate division, first went to Marissa Spoke and second to Zach Paulson. And finally, in our senior division, first went to Ian Spoke and second to Faith Paulson. Let's put our hands together and congratulate these individuals on winning showmanship. It's a pretty big deal to, uh, this is all about the kids and what they're their um, skills are and what they've learned. And so, again, let's give them a big round of applause. Our Supreme Showman will be receiving a traveling trophy, which is sponsored by our Hildebrandt family. Well, for your final class here for your junior show, um, I, I take that back. We have our, our, our little juniors coming in here, but for uh, this, this showmanship contest for your Supreme Showman, before I name your overall winners here again, I just want to thank uh, our volunteers up here, the exhibitors, and all the supporters of these kids. Uh, this morning's been a lot of fun. Uh, again, it's just been a bit, big privilege for me to come up here and work with these youth and work with these volunteers that have put on just a great, great dairy show the last day and a half here so far. And, and we're not done. We got our open show here to follow 
and let the alumni come back in here and, and get their whites on and show these kids too how it should be done. So I look forward to that. But uh, I did not uh, pull out anybody here in particular right now, but I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna congratulate your Supreme Showman and your Reserve Supreme Showman in that order. And for reasons of just all day long, what they've done, what they've done yesterday and today, what they did yesterday and what they did today to get them here, and just how they had handled themselves and, and have to compare them from the little kids all the way up to the older kids of just how they presented their animals all, all the whole time and all the things I've already talked about. And they've done it right here in the last five minutes again, and I, I truly appreciate their uh, no-give-up attitude all day long. So as I do that, give them one more big round of applause. The senior showman's just been on the money, and you, you put in your dues, you put in your time. Uh, it, it's not taking nothing away from these younger kids, but he, he just has, and I'll say this for a young man, he's got an epic presence in the ring, just with his professionalism and his calm, cool character that works with these animals. They are females. They can have a little bit of a mind of their own, uh, and he is, just does an exceptional job at, with him and this heifer. My first year showman, I know she's young people, but wow, she's on the money too. She just needs a little bit more time in the ring, a little more showmanship classes under the belt, but we talked about it. I didn't give you a lot of pointers to change. You want to lead out and follow him, just so smooth on the halter that Heifer and her are such an impeccable team, and as they walk out, that is what showmanship is about, just picturesque teamwork, beautifully presented animals. The young lady's heifer came back in. There's no straw in her belly, and we talked. And that was another thing is, you guys did great bringing these animals in. I didn't find a speck of straw in their belly. Their tails were fluffed out, so you guys were listening to me. And that, that means a lot to me. Um, but again, just a, two of my, my overall favorites today, and congratulations again. And our Supreme Sh uh, Showmanship winner receiving the traveling trophy sponsored by the Hildebrand family is Ian Spoke. Our Reserve Supreme Showman will be Savannah Fairbank. Congratulations to all those individuals. At this time, we will have our Junior Britches. So anybody that would like to show in the Junior Britches has their calf ready to go. These are... Showmen that are grades three and four junior britches. Immediately following our junior britches, we will have uh, everyone over to the Show Progress Arena, and we will be naming those participants that will be uh, participating in our auction on Sunday. But we ask all individuals to come over because we will also be pitting, pitting, picking a lottery winner, and you must be present to be a, the lottery winner. 
And lottery winners must have already filled out an educational card. And basically anybody that is in the auction must be present when their name is called.
Well, for our junior britches class, this is one of the funnest classes that you can judge with the, uh, most of these kids. It's, they said it's their first time out in the show ring or they've borrowed a calf. Uh, the young man here with a calf that's barely a month old, I said it leads better than some of my show heifers at home. Um, so a, a tremendous asset there. It shows that he's really worked with it and it was born on his birthday. So it's even extra special for him there. But it's great to see all the smiles and the enthusiasm of these kids out here. I said I'd try to get you a snack. She's very, she, her exhibitor here says she's very noisy, and I will agree with her, but that's okay. We all like personalities here, and, but they're all come out here with smiles and doing such a nice job. Uh, but they asked me to pick one overall, uh, which I hate to do, but this young man that has the purple halter, uh, he comes in, he's got that halter the way you like it. He's even pulling throat, and he's told me that this is his calf that he gets to work with. Uh, and as you see him go out, he's, he's been watching maybe a few of our senior showmen here. So I really do appreciate his, uh, his skill set there and taking nothing away from all these other youngsters. There's three or four here that could give some of these other junior showmen a big run for their money already today. So give them all a great big round of applause. And, and kids, talk your mom and dad into going buying some ice cream. That's the favorite reward after doing junior britches. So congratulations again, and I'm really glad you came out. Winning our Junior Bridges class was Finn Spolk. Attention in the open class barns. It looks like it'll be about 20 minutes to half an hour before we get started. So 20 minutes to half an hour, hopefully closer to 20 minutes. At this time, we ask all our junior exhibitors to come on over to the show arena so we can make the announcement of who will be in the auction on Sunday.
Junior exhibitors, last call to come to the Progress Arena to find out if you're in the auction. Last call, junior exhibitors. All right, first of all, we're going to name off the four or the eight individuals that will be participating in master showmanship. So from our junior or from our intermediate. And if you can just raise your hand when you call off our name so we know that you're here and have heard the messages. So, intermediate showmen that qualify. Marissa Spoke, Zach Paulson, Trayton Hildebrandt, and Mara Skalitsky. Okay, you four are all part of Master Showmanship from our intermediate. And from our senior will be Ian Spoke, Emma Paulson, Devin Justman, Devin Justman, are you here? Okay. Cadence Tennies, okay, you will be part of the Ma Master Showman. Devin Justman, your last chance. Okay, Devin, you just made it. You will be part of the Master Showmanship Contest. So you eight individuals, again, Marissa Spoke, Zach Paulson, Trayton Hildebrandt, Marissa Skaliski, Ian Spoke, Emma Paulson, Devin Justman, and Kanan Tennis. You are our eight master showmen. All right, now for the auction. You um, have a list of responsibilities. You first of all need to get your bio in by 3 p.m. this afternoon. And that can be typed on a Google document. So if you have any questions as to where or how, you can stick around after and we can explain that to you. You need to be, you guys need to be in the Progress Arena on Sunday morning by 8.30 to help set up. Um, you will also be um, responsible for helping clean up at the end of the auction. The auction starts at 11.30. We ask that you please wear white pants, a professional, appropriate looking shirt, and hard toed shoes, just like for showmanship. Um, we want the presentation of the animal to be professionally done and limited to the amount of glitz and glass and glimmer and all the junk you put on them. It's not a carnival, it's an auction, and we want it to look nice. You can put like a a bow on the tail or a ribbon on the halter and stuff, but please limit that. It's not a clown show. Um, participants and your families are invited to a brunch that, um, that morning. And if you have, we encourage you, if you're a participant, to please um, those people that you do business with, 
if you invite them to the auction to try to promote and purchase you or at least support you. Um, so if they're, they need tickets to get in, admission tickets to the fair, please come and see Cindy. Um, she will make sure that you get some tickets that your businessmen can get in. Oh, I'm sorry. Allison Grolke will have the tickets so that if you need to get in, um, contact them so that you can get your businesses to get free admission to the fair. Allison is in the center aisle of the junior barn, like dead center of the junior barn. All right, anybody have any questions so far? All right, here are your winners. Our junior fitter will be represented by Marissa Spoke. Our junior champion, Registered Holstein, will be represented by Vivian Lichty. Our junior champion, Grade Holstein, will be, re oh, I, I, so far I think everybody's been here, right? Uh, Marissa, Vivian, junior grade champion, junior champion grade, Jackie Paulson, are you here? Okay, Jackie's here. Colored breeds and Supreme Junior Champion, Caroline Powers. Grand Champion and Supreme Champion Holstein was Tia Hildebrandt. She's here. Grand Champion Colored Breed, Leah Smith. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Um, champion Bred Known, Trayton Hildebrandt. Our Senior Showman will be, re I'll, I'll start. Beginning show, our first year showman will be re uh, represented by Savannah Fairbanks. Rep raise Raise your hand, right here. Um, beginner showman, Duke Schlender. Raise your hand, okay. Junior showman will be Malcolm Spoke. Raise your hand, please. There you go. Intermediate showman will be Zach Paulson. And our senior showman will be Emma Paulson. Okay. Our supreme showman will be represented by Ian Spoke. And... Did I get everybody except lottery winner? Lottery winner. Are you guys ready? Drum roll. Greta Eltrider. You are our lottery winner. All right. So if, we, if I called off your name, there's 16 of you. Oh, senior fitter, Elizabeth Guns. I'm sorry. I did miss you. Sorry? Junior fitter was Marissa. Marissa spoke. So, um, if I called off your name, you need to have your bio in on the Google document by 3 p.m. Now, if you are showing an open class, we will give you the deadline of, we still want as po close to 3 o'clock as possible, but if you're showing an open class and there's some question that you might be five minutes late or whatever, come see, come see Cindy immediately and tell her so she can keep a list of that because we're going to try and have these all in at 3 o'clock, but we do understand some of you are helping with open class and what have you, so we're giving you a few minute leeway. Now I'm saying a few minutes. We're not saying 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock is too late. So try to get it in as soon as possible. Um, any questions at this point? All right, congratulations everyone on uh, our great junior fair.
We should be starting the open class show in about uh, five to ten minutes. And uh, so please start getting your animals over here to the door. We're going to alternate classes just like we've done every other year. And uh, Please start getting your animals at the door for the open class show.
I think we're about ready to get started with the open class show. And before we get started, um, this year, for the first time in many years, a certain individual that will not be joining us at the fair. From what I've been told, his connection to the fair actually predates uh, this fairgrounds. Uh, he showed back at the fair when it was down where uh, Wayland Academy is now. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. He was an individual who always was uh, listened to your opinion and gave you his opinion in his own cuddly way. And this is the first time that he has not been here. So at this time, Travis, would you be willing to escort Mrs. Domro to the center of the ring? Brenda? You and the family would be pleased to come along in. I did have someone from the fair board who was going to come and say a few words, but I'm assuming they got uh, waylaid because of lateness of the time. But uh, I guess all I want to say is as usual, I make women cry. That's really a bad thing with me. I'm just not very good at this. But the Domros have been very, very important to the fair. And Mr. Domros, he wasn't the cuddliest of individuals. But I do know he cared about the fair. And he cared about the people here. And he did have some wonderful stories to tell about fairs and showing even though some of them were a little R-rated. So I would like to conclude this by, if you'd all raise your arm in a toast and to Donald Domro, a Dodge County Fair tradition and one of a kind, he will be missed, Pax Obiscum. So now as soon as I can get my ring man at the door or a ring person at the door, we will get started.
We're starting with our Holstein spring calves. We should have three of them. Spring calves from any other, all other breeds be at the door. We're going to get started with our open show here, and we have our first class of spring Holstein calves. Uh, calf that leads out the class today for me, just more calf, more width throughout. She's more upstanding through that front end, has that width and capacity out through that midsection, and you get behind them and shows me more width out through those pins. Then this really dairy black calf coming in second. Second over third, just on the advantage of being a longer calf from end to end, shows me a bit more drop to her rib today than this really stylish red calf coming out in third. When you get behind this third place calf, I like, love how she handles her feet and legs. She's so refined down through that hock, and she walks on a great set of feet being strong in that pastern. Congratulations. Winner of that class was spoken for. Moso Fine ET, exhibited by Finn Spoke of Waterloo. We'll now have Brown Swiss Spring Calf. Our single entry brown Swiss spring calf here, a real ultra dairy kind of calf. Uh, she moves out, she walks out on an exceptional set of feet and legs. You love the strong pastor and the deep heel, but just a super stylish calf from end to end. Congratulations. 
Winner of that class was Powerline Stoker Major Macy, exhibited by Kendallin Waddell of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Now we have Jersey Spring Calves.
And our Jersey Spring Calf Class, uh, four really nice calves and uh, excellent young showmen here. But our calf that starts out the class for me just shows me the most angularity throughout. And I prefer how she holds herself together through that front end over our calf here in second. She just keeps that chine higher, uh, stronger when she's out on the move than our calf in second. Second over third uses that advantage of just being a longer calf from tip of her nose to the tip of her tail and shows me much more belly, especially dropped to that rear rib today over our young man's calf here can third. Third over fourth, again, uses that advantage of showing me a bit more openness, a bit more springer rib over a really stylish calf in fourth. Congratulations to all our Jersey exhibitors. Winner of that class was Red Rodeo Big and Rich, exhibited by Angela Pyrick. Second went to Rebecca Schrapnagel. Three, third to Steve Lichty, and fourth to Selcrest Farms. We will now show Milking Shorthorn Spring Calves. Start getting your winter calves, all breeds, ready.
are milking Shorthorn Spring Calf Class here, three real quality heifers. Um, in this class, but my winning heifer here today uses that advantage of length from end to end. She's just a longer heifer. She's got a longer, especially through that midsection, shows me more length and extension over our second place heifer. In addition, when she walks out, she shows me more width down through those hocks, and I prefer how, uh, I just appreciate how she handles those rear legs today. Second over third, it's when they're out on the move. She's just got a bit more style across that top line. She holds herself a bit nicer right through that loin. And I prefer how she has that tail uh, tucked down between a neater set of pins than our heifer coming out here in third. Love the spring of rib on our heifer in third. Just like to change her out through that rump structure to move her up today. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Heavenly Justic Zipline XPT, exhibited by Michael Waddell of Beaver Dam. Second went to Kendall and Waddell and third to Easterbrook Farms. We now have fall Holstein, or winter Holstein calves. Sean Nails, do you have a winter calf? Sean Nails, do you have a winter calf?
on our Holstein Winter Calf class here. We got a lot of different shapes and sizes, uh, and it's uh, really enjoyable to be able to work with some of our, I'll, I called them alumni earlier, but they're having fun out here and, and can discuss heifers and stuff. But this is a February 23rd heifer that's going to win your class today because she is the most complete heifer with the least amount of faults for me today. Uh, you analyze her. She's, the, she's so clean and dairy. Uh, she walks out on a great set of feet and legs, and she uses that angularity to go over our second place heifer. I just pr like the openness and the sweep she carries through that rib section, and she just keeps those thurls underneath her, especially in line uh, over our second heifer. Second over third uh, on feet and legs. So just a heifer that's got a tremendous less set to that hock, moves all around the ring more comfortably and more correctly on her rear feet and legs. And still further, she's just got more power throughout. She's wider across that chest floor and carries that width out through her rear end. Um, taking nothing away from our third place heifer, she uses all that style and angularity to go over our heifer here in fourth. Just more upstanding through that front end, shows me more midsection being more open and deeper in that fore and rear rib than our heifer in fourth. Fourth over fifth, uses that extension again in her frame. She's a longer heifer from end to end. She holds herself together much nicer through that front end, being fuller in the crops and just a cleaner boned heifer down through her hock over another powerful red heifer coming out next. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Coleco Dare to Dream, exhibited by Callie Larson of Watertown. Second, weather Nathan Tordokas. Third, Deshaun Nails. And fourth, to Daniel Bone. We now have milking short on winter calves. Please have your fall calves for all breeds at the door. And our uh, winner, Milking Shorthorn class here, pretty handy winner in our first place heifer. She's so much more heifer with the extended longer through her head and neck region. And she's cleaner all the way through, especially you get behind them. She's less patchy over those hooks and pins and just more in curving in that thigh today over our heifer here in second. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Vallow Hill. I won the lottery, exhibited by Easterbrook. In second place was also exhibited by Easterbrook. We now have Fall Calves Holstein.
Our Holstein Fall Calf class here. Heifer that wins the class today for me does it on that angularity and clean cutness throughout. She's just sharper at the shoulders. She's sharper over her hooks and pins. And she shows me again another uh, more drop to her fore and rear rib over our heifer coming out in second. Second over third, I prefer her out through her, uh, her loin and her rump today, particularly on the move. She's harder in that loin and more level from hooks to pins over our red heifer coming out in third. Third over fourth, she's just a half red's got some more dairy quality to her with being a longer extension out through that head and neck. And she's cleaner down through her hocks, uh, especially on her left side over our heifer coming out in fourth. Congratulations. Winner of that class was G.R. Akers, Unix Raylin, exhibited by Allison Grokey. Second went to Tom Bonkowski. Third to Angela Pyrick. And fourth to Haley DeFever. It's an animal that was actually listed in the winter calf class by accident. We now have one Ayrshire fall calf. We should have one brown Swiss fall cap and one Jersey fall cap. Our Ayrshire fall calf here, uh, just a single entry, but a heifer that's real clean cut and streamlined in her line. She's a super hard top heifer, and as she moves out, you got to love the tremendous openness to her rib today. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Al Andy's Ginger Georgia, exhibited by Neitzel Farm of Watertown. Start getting your summer and spring yearlings to the door. Another single entry brown Swiss fall calf, and it's too bad this heifer could handle some competition. A uh, beautiful, balanced, stylish heifer that walks out on a, such a great set of feet and legs. But you really got to love that balance. She's open in that rib. She's got a, a great depth and fore and rear rib on her. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Oaknell Rasta Time Saver, exhibited by Kendallin Waddell of Beaver Dam. Our Jersey fall calf here, another extremely long framed kind of heifer. Uh, she's so much extension out through that head and neck that you like to see. Uh, beautiful balance and openness to spring of a fore and rear rib. But I really admire the rump on this heifer. She's long, clean, and flat out through the, from hooks to pins. Congratulations.
Winner of that cast was Coleco Lemon Cool Aid, exhibited by Callie Larson of Watertown. We now have Summer Yearling Holsteins. Our judge for today and yesterday is Miss Tammy Vagley from Arlington, Wisconsin. Our Holstein Summer Yearling class here, our first place heifer, uses that overall mass and size. She's just more heifer when you get them in line. Uh, she's more upstanding through that front end, and she's longer from end to end. She gives me more drop to that rear rib today when you get behind them. Taking nothing away from this real stylish black heifer in second, she uses that overall strength and power, especially up through that front end, to go over our heifer here in third. She carries that width on back out through her pins, and I just prefer how she handles her rear legs when she's out on the move, just having more width between those hocks today over another real dairy heifer here in third.
Winner of that class was Polly G. Select Arizona, exhibited by Allison Grilke of Mabel. Second went to Smithcrest, and third to Jared Buskey. We should have a summer yearling brown Swiss. Then we should move on to spring yearlings. A July summer yearling in our brown Swiss show and another heifer that's very stylish straight in her lines I uh, appreciate how she has the adequate openness of rib and body to go with her frame today congratulations winner of that class was Twinkle Hill Chrome Rosie exhibited by Selcrest Farm we'll now have spring yearlings Holstein All yearlings at the door. I, right now we need uh, Allison Grilke and Rebecca Schrafnagel with your spring yearlings.
Our spring Holstein heifer class here, a heifer, our April heifer is going to lead out the class for me. Today she just shows me more openness and more spring to that rib over our second place heifer. In addition, she's just a bit cleaner from end to end uh, than our second place heifer. Second over third uses that advantage in rump structure today. She's just nicer out through that loin and keeps those pins down uh, below her hips and has that tail setting just a bit neater than this powerful red heifer coming out next. You'll love the spring and openness of rib that this red heifer has. Just like to change her right up in that tail head to move her up today. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Miss Brea, exhibited by Allison Grokey of Mayville. Second went to Tom Bankowski, and third to Mary Gundrum. We now have Ayrshire Spring Yearlings. We should have Jersey Spring Yearlings on deck. Then the winter yearlings, we don't have many fall yearlings, so start lining them up for the championship run immediately after that. Our Ayrshire Spring Yearlings here, our first place heifer, has the advantage today just being a cleaner and more sharper th all the way throughout. She's more upstanding and sharper through that front end. Shows me a little bit more openness to her rib today. And you get out behind her on her rump structure. She's longer from hooks to pins and just walks a bit nicer on those rear legs than this young lady's calf coming out in second. You really admire the spring of fore and rear rib of this heifer in second, but just would like to correct her out through the legs to move her in that first spot. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Al Grenadine, Big Time Gemma, exhibited by Neitzel Farm. Second place animal was also exhibited by Neitzel Farm. We now have one brown Swiss spring yearling. Our brown Swiss spring yearling, a full age March heifer uh, that you have to love her as she grew up into that frame. You love the front end again on her. Uh, she's got that big open rib to her uh, and she's level out through her hooks and pins. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Cass Creek Furious Loretta, exhibited by Allison Grokey. Now we will have Jersey spring yearlings.
Our Jersey Spring yearling class here, our first place have her has the advantage today. She's more angular all the way throughout and showing me more femininity, especially up through that head and neck today. She's cleaner and longer in that neck. She's sharper out over her hooks, pins, and thoroughs. And for me, she just shows me a bit more openness of rib today over our heifer here in second. When you get in front of this heifer in second, you really admire the width across that chest floor and that spring she has to her rib, but just like to clean her up all the way through from end to end to move her in that first blue ribbon spot. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Sprite's Magic Sapphire, exhibited by Jaden Backleitner of Juno. And second went to Amelia Christian. We now have a Holstein winter yearling. Since we have no Holstein fall yearlings, you can start organizing your animals for the junior champion run in the Holstein, which will include the two spring calves from Spokes, Callie Larson's winter calf, Nathan Tordokas' winter calf, Allison Grokey's fall calf, Tom Minkowski's fall calf, Allison Grokey's summer yearling, Smith's Crest summer yearling, Allison Grokey's spring yearling and Tom Bunkowski's spring yearling. Just one winner yearling here in our Holstein division, but a really nice heifer in her own right. You love the angularity and the balance that she has throughout. She's got a beautiful midsection on her, um, but I just really admire the angularity in this yearling state. She's carrying less condition. Uh, just showing that sharpness all the way throughout, and she moves out quite comfortably on a good set of feet and legs. Congratulations. Yeah. Winner of that class was Vandy View Snowbell Red, exhibited by Ashley Vandezandy of Wapan. We now have a Brown Swiss. Winter yearling, I think. Yes, winter yearling. And please get all five of the animals from the Brown Swiss breed lined up. We'll do the junior champion for that as quick as we can. Our Brown Swiss winter yearling entry here, a heifer that combines, has a nice balance of angularity and strength throughout. She carries that natural width through that chest floor uh, and carries it out through her pins. A beautiful rump structure has a long from hooks to pins with that tail head tucked really nice down between a nice set of pins. Congratulations, young man. Winner of that class was Twinkle Hills Miss Thelma 5117, exhibited by Selcrest Farms of Watertown. Bring in the Guernsey winter yearling.
just a single entry Guernsey in our entire show, uh, our winter yearling here, but a, a heifer that you really admire how she walks out on her feet and legs. Uh, she's got a really strong past and really steep heel uh, and tracks very squarely on them. And she will be your grand champion of your open show here for the Guernsey division. Congratulations. Winner of that class and the junior champion female of the Guernsey breed was May Wiss. Lucky Maybell, exhibited by Catherine Foigt of Mayville. We now have a milking short horn fall yearling. We have a single entry milking short horn fall yearling, an October heifer that you really admire. Her dariness throughout again, another heifer that's sharp down that top line, especially out through her rump structure today. Uh, I'd like to give her just a little more depth to her rear rib if I had to uh, criticize her for her frame, but uh, a heifer at this stage of the game, just super angular and clean cut. Congratulations. First and second place for all breeds, please be at the door. The winner of that class was Easterbrook, Bombay, London, exhibited by Easterbrook Farms of uh, Juno. This is the last, we have one Jersey winter yearling, I think. Our Jersey winner yearling here, uh, just a, a heifer that's got almost did a Jersey flop for me. We, I don't think we, we had it once yesterday, once yesterday, but that's okay. What a heifer. I really admire this heifer's front end. I love that Alp Hill run that she has, uh, the beautiful width across that chest floor, and she blends so nice up through that front end. It carries that width out, out, out between her pins today. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Paulson Crest Louis Fenix, exhibited by Brian Paulson of Columbus. We now start our champion runs for all the breeds. We're commencing with Holsteins.
We have spring calves from Finn Spoke and Ian Spoke, a winter calf from Callie Larson and Nathan Tordokas, a fall calf from Allison Grulke and Tom Bunkowski, a summer yearling from Allison Grulke and Smithcrest, a spring yearling from Allison Grulke and Tom Bunkowski, and a winter yearling from Ashley Vandezandy. Let's give the exhibitors a round of applause for all the young animals they brought out today. Well, we brought our Holsteins back out here for a junior champion of the Open Show. 
Uh, again, a really nice quality, not, not quantity and numbers of the class, but it's nice to have uh, our open class exhibitors help support your fair here and, and get the heifers out. Sometimes it gets in your blood and, and you got to put the white pants on and show the kids how it's done too. And I pulled out my three favorites here, our first place fall calf, uh, that first place summer yearling, and that first place spring yearling. Heifers for me up through the front ends, they got the width across that chest floor, they got the good front ends. They got the hard loins and the correctness out through their rumps. I will go out and congratulate your junior champion, honorable mention, and, or excuse me, junior champion reserve and honorable mention in that order. And please, when I do, give these exhibitors another round of applause. That fall calf for me today is just the most complete heifer in the ring. She walks out on a beautiful set of feet and legs, but she's got that gorgeous front end, that beautiful openness to the rib, and drop to that rear rib to go with the frame. She goes over our reserve on that April spring yearling, just a bit cleaner all the way throughout today uh, than our yearling heifer. But uh, spring yearling over summer yearling for reserve over honorable mention, just harder through that loin today. Prefer her out through that rump structure, especially when she's out on the move. Congratulations to all the Holstein exhibitors. Junior champion was G.R. Akers, Unix, Raylan, exhibited by Allison Grokey. Reserve junior champion was Miss Brea, also exhibited by Allison Grokey of Mayville. Next, we will have the Ayrshire champion run. For our Ayrshire Junior Champion, we have that fall calf and our spring yearling back in here uh, in competition. And I'm going to go with this spring yearling in front of me on her advantage today of just having more of that dairy strength. I prefer her up through that front end, showing more width capacity all the way throughout, especially out through that rump region today, over our really angular clean-cut calf coming out for reserve. Congratulations to both exhibitors. The junior champion of the Ayrshire breed was Al Grenadine, big time Gemma, exhibited by Neitzel Farm. The reserve was Al Andy's Ginger Georgia, also exhibited by Neitzel's. Next, we will have the Brown Swiss junior champion.
after this, we will have Jersey Junior Champion, and Milking Short Arm Junior Champion, whichever order we come in, and then we'll go right to the cow show. Let's show your Brown Swiss Open class exhibitors a really nice round of applause. Uh, five really nice individual heifers here. And for me, your junior champion is going to be that fall calf. That young lady who wants to bring that calf out. Just to me, a complete stylish uh, balance. I love when she's out on the move. She's so hard topped. Um, I love how she handles her legs today. And she uses that advantage of being just a bit harder topped uh, over our reserve heifer, which will be this winter yearling down here. But another heifer for me that follows suit. I love the rump structure. Uh, she's more, act, more what I like to see in the rump when she gets behind her. She's got the width of pins, and she handles her legs just a little bit nicer, uh, just a little bit longer, a little bit more body than our honorable mention, which we'll put on that summer yearling, that July heifer. Another heifer that's got the same kind of frame, just when she gets out of the move, just gets a little softer across the top than you'd like to see, um, but just another heifer with a lot of style and a lot of balance all the way throughout. So junior champion, fall calf, reserve on your winter yearling, and honorable mention on your summer yearling. Congratulations. Junior champion of the Brown Swiss breed was Oak Nell Rasta Time Saver, exhibited by Kendall and Waddell of Beaver Dam. Reserve was Twinkle Hills Miss Thelma 5117, exhibited by Selcrest Farm. Now we have the Jersey Junior Champions.
In the Jersey breed, we have a spring calf from Angela Pyrick and a spring calf from Rebecca Schrapnagel, a fall calf from Callie Larson, a spring yearling from Jaden Bachleitner and a, from uh, Amelia Christian, and a winter yearling from Brian Paulson. Well, let's give our Jersey exhibitors a nice round of applause for their heifers that they brought out this afternoon for your open show. And I pulled out our fall, first place fall calf, uh, that first place spring yearling, and then our first place winter yearling. Heifers that are real long in their frames from end to end. You love the extensions all the way throughout. Um, it for me is, is a close placing, but I'm going to go with that first prize winter yearling today. Uh, she just has the advantage. I like her up a little bit nicer up through that front end. She just blends a bit smoother from neck to shoulder and shoulder into those crops over our fall calf that will be reserved junior champion. She keeps it a little bit closer for me because for her frame, I do like how she has a little bit more depth of rear rib, more depth of flank uh, than our junior champion heifer. And then she uses that advantage of just her openness, spring and drop to her rib to go over our honorable mention, first place spring yearling. Congratulations. Junior champion of the Jersey breed was Paulson Crest, Louis Fenix, exhibited by Brian Paulson. Reserve junior champion went to Callie Larson. Now we'll have the milking short arm junior champion.
Well, let's congratulate our Milking Shorthorn exhibitors. Again, a nice, real quality, it was a small show, but real quality representation for their breed. Our pair of spring calves up in front here, our December calf, and then our October uh, yearling here. And we're going to go with Junior Champion on that winter calf. Today, she's the most complete calf for me. Shows me that balance of strength and style all the way throughout um, and just has that capacity. And we're going to, well, she'll go over our first place spring calf. She'll be your reserve champion here. Just has a little bit more maturity, a little bit more mass to her, particularly up through that front end over our spring calf. And for honorable mention, I'm going to stick with that second place spring calf. For me, she's just a little bit more correct out through that rump structure today over our yearling and just shows me a little bit more style across our top line today. So junior champion on your winter calf, reserve on the first place spring calf, honorable mention on the second place spring calf. Congratulations. Junior champion of the Milk and Short Arm Show was Vallow Hill. I won the lottery. Reserve junior champion went to Heavenly Justice Zipline XET, exhibited by Michael Waddell. We now have a junior best three Milk and Short Arm. Our junior best three here for our Milking Shorthorn group, well the heifers are in here, uh, three uh, animals bred by one exhibitor and you, let's congratulate our entry here, three really nice dairy individuals that represent their, ble their breeding program, congratulations. And our little one's going to exit stage right because we have a produce a dam, we're going to kind of do a couple group classes while the animals are out here. Uh, these are two heifers out of the same cow, again, by this exhibitor. Uh, you can see the, the similarities as far as the extension, the hard tops, and the width out through the rear ends. Congratulations to this milking shorthorn breeder. Let's give the Domino family another round of applause. As long as they're near, and Brenda's smiling now, which is much better, so we, we, we like that a lot. So, anyways, that is the end of the milking shorthorn show. Now we're moving on to Holstein cows.
Our Holstein Junior two-year-old class here, our first pair of cows only been fresh three weeks in individually. My first place cow gets the advantage today, just having a little bit more quality, less congestion through that udder, showing me more seam from top to bottom, but especially through that fore udder, just a little bit less uh, cakiness, is particularly on the left uh, fore udder, than our cow coming out in second. But our cow in second, you really have to admire this frame. Tremendous width throughout. You'll love the width out through that rib cage, the drop in the rear rib that she already has being this recently fresh. And I do prefer how when she walks out, just a bit stronger in those pasterns today. But she uses that overall bloominess to her rear udder today over our red cow, just being a bit sharper up through that front end than this beautiful framed cow coming out in third. You love the extension from end to end, the hardness down her top line. Uh, she is being shown tomorrow in the fraturity, so she's not bagged heavy for our open show, which I respect that. Uh, but I'm, I appreciate her bring, coming out to exhibit in this class. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Go Big Defiant Ev Evangelico, exhibited by Jared Buskey. Second went to John Powers, and third to Sean Nails. We'll now have senior twos. Our senior two-year-olds here, the red cow is going to get her advantage today in first place on her overall frame throughout. She's just more cow, uh, more upstanding through that front end um, uh, than our black cow here in, in addition. She's just got more width and capacity all the way throughout. I do prefer her front teat length and placement over our second place cow also. I realize our second place cow is showing more bloom to that rear udder today. Just like to give her more frame and more mass throughout to go in that first spot. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Nails Valley Lovely Red, exhibited by Sean Nails. Second went to Caitlin Abendroth. 
We now have junior threes. We do have a Jersey cow we need at the ringside. Our Holstein Junior Threes here, our red cow will win this class today. You get right behind them. She's got more extension and height to that rear udder attachment today over our second place cow. Still further, she's just a bit cleaner and sharper all the way throughout. She's harder out through that loin and more level from hooks to pins. I do appreciate the cleanliness down through her hock, especially on her right side too. Taking nothing away from another really super uttered cow coming out here in second. You'll love the seam that she has. She's just recently fresh here in July, showing a lot of quality to that udder uh, and extensions in her udder attachment. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Mary B. Absolute Love and Red, exhibited by Mary Gundrum of Hartford, and second went to Tom Bunkowski. Now we have our only Jersey cow, a Jersey three-year-old. Just our one uh, Jersey cow here, fresh in April. Another cow that you have to love the extension in her frame. A super long individual with that high chine. Walks out on a really nice set of feet and legs. And has got quality udder. Shows the, the bloom to her rear udder. Uh, she will be your class winner and also your grand champion of your Jersey show. Congratulations. Winner of that class was Calico Pop Fizz Kaboom, exhibited by Callie Larson, and was also the senior champion of the Jersey breed.
We only have one aged cow after this, so get the animals ready for the senior champion run and start planning on any uh, group classes you need or are going to have either in Holstein or any other breeds. A really nice pair of five-year-olds here. All, both have had three calves. Uh, my first place cow, you get behind her. You just love that rear udder, but especially the four udder. I just like how it blends into the body wall just a bit nicer than our second place cow. And again, she's a cow that just has more strength all the way through that frame for me. Just more width, more capacity, and especially you get behind them. There's just more of her width-wise and that rump, so much more width through that rump. Uh, taking nothing away from this really open rib dairy cow here that's got a beautiful rear udder also. But again, just like to extend that four outer out just a little bit more to get her up. Congratulations on a beautiful pair of cows. Winner of that class was Bud John Vale HP Derm Style ET exhibited by Sean Nails. Second place animals was also exhibited by Sean Nails.
We have a pair of aged cows here, a, a seven-year-old and an eight-year-old. Uh, again, like yesterday, we had a really nice pair of older cows in our youth show. It's really nice to see these cows come back and have that many calves and look this nice. Uh, both tremendous cows, but our first place cow has the advantage today just being a bit more level across that other floor and having those front teats placed underneath the quarter just a little bit nicer. Um, you really have to admire the rear udder on this second place cow. And I do like how she's a little bit cleaner down through those hocks than my first place cow, but just uh, would like to change that front teat placement to get her up one more spot. Congratulations again on two beautiful aged cows. Winner of that class was Jerland SHD5 Nori Red ET, who I accidentally scratched out of the book, <laughs> exhibited by Nathan Tordokas of Horicon. Second place went to Tom Bunkowski. We'll now show for senior champion of the Holstein Show. We have a junior two from Jared Buskey and a, from John Powers. A senior two from Sean Nails and Caitlin Avendroth. A junior three from Mary Gundrum and Tom Bunkowski. Two four and five year olds from Sean Nails. An age cow from Nathan Tordokas and Kevin Bunkowski. Let's give the exhibitors a round of applause for the small amount of cows, but high quality cows that they brought out today.
Well, again, let's show your appreciation for these Holstein exhibitors. Again, like you said earlier, not huge classes, but great uttered cows, good quality dairy cows uh, that these exhibitors brought out for me to evaluate. And I pulled out uh, our first place junior three and that pair of uh, five-year-olds, excuse me, that we talked about cows just with whale of udders on them, open rib, dairy kind of cows, uh, sharp from end to end. I'm going to go out and congratulate uh, your senior champion and your reserve and honorable mention in that order, and then I'll come back to the mic. That's your three-year-old. Is she? The, today is her day. She's on the money. That utter. She will be best utter of your show, also. And that's what gets her over our first place five-year-old. She's just a bit fuller at the top of that rear utter. When you get right behind them, I know our our reserve cow here has had another calf, but that that first place, my champion cow up here is just that utter is there. The quality all day long. She's full, and she's just got so much style. So much quality to that. And as she gets out on the move, she's just a little bit nicer out through that rump for me and holding uh, her legs, just a little bit more youthful moving out on her legs today. Taking nothing away from that pair of five-year-olds that'll be reserve senior, reserve grand champion. Uh, just another pair of tremendous uh, rear uttered cows. But uh, today's the Red Cows Day. Congratulations. Senior champion and best uttered and Dodge County bred and owned is Mary B. Absolute Love and Red, exhibited by Mary Gundrum of Hartford. Reserve junior champion, reserve senior champion was Bud John Vale, HP Dorman Style ET, exhibited by Sean Nails. Now, if we, if we have any group classes, please get them organized. If anybody has any more group classes, we got a best three females, I think, coming Holstein. If anybody else got anything else, bring them on over. We just have our one group of Jersey Junior Best Three here uh, by exhibitor uh, heifers that uh, had a lot of uh, ribbon power in them, straight topped heifers that walk out on great feet and legs. Congratulations to these exhibitors. 
we're going to do like the shorties did. Exit stage left with the little one, and we have our produce dam still left in the ring here, are in our two older heifers. Congratulations. Our Holstein uh, best three females here. Uh, we got our two red cows and then our honorable mention champion, five-year-old. Again, tremendous uh, dairy open rib kind of cows. Congratulations to this breeder on an outstanding group. We have a single entry produce a dam with our champion cow here uh, and, and her sister, another real beautiful pair of framed kind of cows. Um, and again, anchored with our grand champion cow. Congratulations. And I believe we're going to have a dam and daughter with our champion cow and her daughter, the heifer coming into the ring, our spring yearling. Spring yearling. Um, tr tremendous, tremendous a uh, asset showing for here for this exhibitor, developing her herd of of the red and white family. Congratulations. I think that wraps things up. So thank you all for coming. Have a good day. See you next year.